This is a quick video on how to change the screen on a Dell Inspiron 5570 uh, using a new screen from laptopscreen.com. So the first thing you need to do is to pull away the outer bezel here. So your, your finger, fingernails underneath and just snap it, just pull it slightly towards you. Try not to put too much pressure on the screen while you're doing this. And right the way around the top. Try and keep this plastic in one piece if at all possible. And just pulling it away from the edge of the screen there. Okay. Okay, and it should come off something like that. Okay, next thing we need to do is to remove the screen itself. So just use a small crosshead screwdriver and in all four corners, just going to remove the screws. Last one up here. Okay, and then we lean the screen down onto the keyboard like that. So the next thing to do is to use a knife to very gently peel away the tape that's holding the connector in place. And then you'll see a very, very fine wire, a piece of metal just in front of the connector here. Just take a knife, slip it underneath that piece of wire. It's coloured red on my model here. And lift that up. And that should enable the connector to be unplugged. So let's take this screen out of the way. Let's get our brand new one. Now in my instance, the screen that was on this laptop wasn't actually broken. I'm just replacing a TN panel with this brand new IPS panel, so hopefully we'll get a slightly better image quality from that. So here's a new panel. It's got a screen projector on the front. Okay, take a connector. Make sure the little black, uh, sorry, make sure the little wire is lifted up there. And if you brought the right laptop, that should just connect back in, like so. Once it's in place, push down the locking mechanism again. Just gonna use a knife there, finish that off. And then you put the piece of tape back over the top of that to hold it in place. Then all that remains to be done, let's uh, screw the screen back into its mounting holes again. position it correctly. What you'll notice is that where the screws go in, there's a little plastic cross um, and a little plastic peg on each corner. Make sure they're lined up and that means that the screws should go back in correctly. So let's put the little screws back in. Now it's pretty fiddly. These screws are tiny. Let's make sure we get those lined up properly. Okay, there's the first one. Don't need, no need to, uh, to over tighten them particularly. Second one in position here. Let's get the second one in position here. And the third screw, just down the bottom left here. Finally, the one at the top left. Uh, 
Now, before I put this fully back together, I'm just going to make sure that the screen is in fact working. So let's turn the laptop on. Okay, it's good to see we do actually have a picture. And it looks like our screen works as it should. So before we put the cover back on, let's uh, take off this screen protector here. It's that satisfying feeling. Beautiful. And then finally, we're uh, gonna click the, the bezel back into position again. So uh, let's just turn the computer off while we do that. Side, basically doing the opposite of what we did earlier. Okay, that's all that finished. Thanks very much for watching.